Which you guys today we're going to be taking a look at how to share files between computers. Now I've got two computers here I'm going to be sharing files with. So let's go to start and then we're going to go to renaming the computer. The reason why you want to rename computers is because it's much more easier to recognize them. So you can see this one says desktop and a bunch of numbers. You can rename it up the top here saying rename this PC or you can go to domain and workgroup. And this will open up a little box and you can rename it here by going to the change button, clicking on change and then name the computer what you want to name it. Something recognizable for you on your local network. So let's call this one, say, main PC or something along those lines. So we know exactly what PC this is. So when we're connecting to it, we know exactly what computer we're connecting to. And if you've got multiple computers, it makes it much more easier to uh, recognize. So you can call them PC1, PC2, PC3, depending on how you want to set yours up. I'm going to leave this as is like this and click OK. And we can move on to the next step. I'm going to click OK here. It will take a bit of time and it will probably ask us to restart the PC, which I'll do a little bit later on once I've got all the settings done. So you can see here, you must restart your computer to apply these changes. So I'm going to close out here. And what we're going to do is we're going to restart later uh, because I'm going to make a couple of more changes to the network and internet settings here. So let's go ahead and go ahead and change these settings here. So we're going to go to search and type control panel here and inside the control panel if you want to do it from the control panel you can go up to view by large icons change this to category and you should see here network and internet there's quite a few ways of getting to this i want to show you a couple of the ways so you know exactly where to go so click on network and sharing center this used to take you to an old style looking uh, network and sharing but in windows 11 if you click on change advanced sharing settings it now takes you back here which is under the network and internet uh, panel. So inside here, you can see we're on a private network and that's exactly what you need to do is you need to put them all on the same network. So we're gonna be doing private network here and you can check the settings and make sure these little rocker buttons are on. Now the only rocker button you need to turn off here is the password protected sharing. We're going to turn that off on all of the computers. So make sure network discovery is on, make sure file and printer sharing is on and all of the other ones you can see I've got on here. The only one I'm turning off here is password protected sharing and I'll do that on every device on the network. We are on a private network here so that needs to be set to private network on all computers otherwise you won't be able to see that computer on the local network. So let's go ahead and close this off now. And what we can do is we've now got all the settings right here now, so we can now restart the PC and we'll boot the PC back up. So let's restart this system and move on to the next computer. So the next computer is computer two. What we're gonna do here on this laptop is we're gonna do exactly the same thing. So I'll go through the motions here, go to settings, Inside here, we're going to rename it because it says laptop dash and a big number. We want to name this something much more recognizable on the network. So you can go to about and then you can either click on domain and work group or you can click on the rename this PC. We'll do rename this PC this time and it's a different window, but it does exactly the same thing. So let's go ahead and give this a name. You can call it whatever you like laptop one, laptop two, laptop three, whatever you want to do. So we're going to go ahead and just keep give this as laptop but if you want to do that you can do a little uh, number two here or something like that just to let yourself know what laptop you're connecting to you can even give them names if you wish depending on how you want to set yours up once we've done this we can click on next and of course we're going to have to restart again but i'll restart later because i want to make sure that we've got some other settings done on this machine now, again, you can do this in domain or work group as well. So let's click on network and internet this time. You can see we are on a public network, so we will need to change that to private network. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So first off, let's go to advanced network settings. From here, we can now check out our advanced sharing settings. Inside here, we want to make sure that we've got all of the same things on, but going to turn off the password uh, protection here. So private uh, networks is all set, right? And we've also got public networks all on as well for our file and printer sharing and network discovery. 
And we also need to turn off this password protected sharing. And that means now we are set. We just need to make sure that we're on private network. And I'll show you how to set the private network up if you're set to uh, the public network. So go into your network and internet and go to your connection. You can see I'm now on private. But if you want to, you just click on it and basically change it to the private network. You should see a public network recommended, but we're now set to private network. And you have to make sure all computers are set exactly how you want them. So now we've got that done, let's go ahead and give ourselves some folders to share on the network. But before we do that, let me just quickly restart this uh, laptop. Now we've restarted a laptop. This is computer one we're on now, which is the main computer. Let's go ahead and create some shares for our computer and our laptop. So I'm inside the videos area here. And what I'm going to do is create a folder, right click, create a folder. You can create a drive, share a drive. You can share whatever you like, but we're going to just share this folder here. So let's give this a name and we can call this whatever we want. So I'm going to go ahead and say, call this share and dash and we can call this main pc so we don't get confused or you can call it whatever you want on your computer so let's go ahead and do that and once we've got this done we can need to put some content in here so let's drop this file in and we can now right click on this and go to properties to change the sharing for this particular uh, folder so let's right click go to properties and go to sharing and inside sharing, go share. And we need to do the drop down and go everyone, click add. And now we can change the permission level to either read or read and write, depending on what you want to do. So let's go ahead and change this to read and write and then click share. You can see it's now done. So click done. Now go to advanced sharing. And from here, we can change the listed number of simulations that you can allow to connect. Uh, to this here so you can see here we've got free I'm going to leave this as free can either give this full control deny or change and read depending on how you want to set yours up I'm going to give them full control and click OK and click close so now that's set up and ready for sharing and we can do the same on the laptop as well so we can basically do this on our laptop and share on there so let me go ahead and go to the laptop so we're now on the laptop. We're going to do the same thing. We've got a folder called laptop share. And what I'm going to do is go to properties and sharing and share this folder as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click everyone on the drop down, click add and change the permissions to read and write. So we can read and write to both of these folders, click share and then click done. And that means we're now sharing this with the other computer. Next up, go to advanced sharing, and we need to change this up as well by sharing this folder. And I'm going to set it as free users. And again, go permissions, and we're going to allow this to have full control. Click OK, click OK, and click close. And basically, we now have both of our folders set up so we can see them on the network. So let's quickly head over to the network here, and we should now see our laptop and our main PC populate in our network. This means we can connect to these because they have no passwords on them and we can easily connect to either one of these and share files between the two. And you can do this for multiple different computers as well. So we're on, on our laptop at the moment. So I can click on this and connect to our shared main PC. And you can see we now have that test.mp4 file in there. And I can even play it or drag it onto my computer here. So you can share files between each computer on the local network. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other computer here so we can see what that looks like. So there's the main PC and we've got our laptop. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the start button here and we're going to go to run and you can even access it from here. You will need to do a couple of backslashes and then click on here laptop or main PC depending on what PC you're on to connect to it. And you should now see the shared files. So because we're on the laptop, I put in main-pc1 and up comes the shared files. If I was on the laptop, I would do the total opposite. So how about we make it easier to access that drive by mapping it to this PC area? So what we're going to do is we're going to map a drive right in here so we can just click on it. So go to network, 
and go to main PC and you can see share dash main PC. We're on the laptop here. I'm going to right click and what we're going to do is we're going to go to map network drive. This will then give us the option to map a network drive to this area. So I'm going to leave this as Z and click OK. And we can close this off and close that off now. And when I go to this PC, you should now see we have an access to our drive on the other computer on this PC area. Very useful indeed. And we'll need to do that on the other computer as well. Let's go over to computer one here. And we're going to go over to our network and we should now see the laptop populate inside this area here. It may take a while to populate, but there it is. There's our laptop. We can click on this now and you can see we can see the laptop share here. And there is our test MP4 file. And this was on the laptop and you can play it here or drag it over to your computer, whatever you want to do. So you can drop files in and out of these folders and share them on each individual computer. So what we'll do is we'll right click on the laptop dash share folder and we're going to map this drive on here as well. And that means we can have this on this PC makes it super easy. We're going to give this a drive letter of Y click finish and that should now be done. And that's how you can share files, folders and drives and printers uh, with two different computers or more depending on how many you want to set up. So I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.